Hi guys, as you know, the company Suray makes these fantastic anamorphic lenses that are affordable for us peasant folks, no longer just for the kings and queens, anamorphic lenses, and they do such a great job. This one, review coming on this one, 24 millimeter, f2.8, oh, it is fantastic. And now Suray is doing the same thing for lighting. Look at the size of this professional caliber light. This thing is 150 watts and it's this big. It also has a 300 watt version, both daylight and by color and it is so great and pretty affordable for what it is but they don't stop there look at this thing right here that is a light stand a carbon fiber light stand which means it's extremely sturdy while being extremely light it's air cushioned so when your lights if you let go of the valve there it just goes down nice and slow my goodness series coming out with some great stuff let's talk about it So big thanks to Saray for sending these things over for review. They also sent over, let me get this in shot. They sent over this lantern softbox. You see that? That is cool. If you want to bring up the light of the entire room and just have a nice soft light all around without those harsh overhead lights, you bring up the whole light of the room with this guy there and then you use a nice softbox with a grid to put it on your pretty mug. So when I get my studio done in my garage, I'm going to get one of these things to light up the general area and then I will use my key light and my fill light and my background lights to create a perfect atmosphere. Now I'm going to put this up on a light stand with a softbox and a grid, but I got to tell you about this light first. Like look at this metal yoke. Oh, I love that. That This is what I need in all of the lights that I want to put up on stands. I want a nice sturdy metal yoke with a metal fastener right here. That way I know no matter how big the softbox I put on, it's going to be absolutely fine. And it's got these double locking teeth right here. So it's going to grip it nice and tight. The whole thing is metal and solid. It's got the fan up on top, the holes for the fan up on top and the bottom. CRI of 96, a TLCI of 98. And because it's so small and light, you can hang this thing from absolutely anywhere. You can put the yoke all the way around, however you want. You just hang it here from the leather strap if you want. I don't know if that's leather. I, I It might be. It comes with a very nice Carrying case, of course, I always appreciate that. When you have small lights like this, you're probably going to want to take them on location. In the carrying case, of course, comes with the light and the uh, hyper reflector, also a claw clamp. There it is right there. And this very heavy duty control box. This is a very well built, high quality control box. I think you could drop this off a building and it would be fine. And here it has the uh, V mount, of course. You can just stick a V mount battery on there if you don't want to plug it in. And uh, it also comes with a plug if you want to plug it into the wall. Let me just show you the app real quick. Nice slick app. Once you have the app downloaded, just on the control box, just hold in the M button and then the Bluetooth symbol will come up. And then you will see your uh, light right there there in the device interface and then so I'll just click on that and now there you go so I have it off right now I will turn it down to 2% I will turn the CCT to 5600 which is what I have in this room and then I'll just turn it on and there you go the light is on I'll just show you the light is on that is whoa that is 2% good god it also has a bunch of built-in effects, which of course are more dynamic. When you have the bicolor light, you can do things like candle and have a nice romantic evening with you and your Saray light. So to connect the light, you just have this nice locking pin right here, very sturdy. It goes into the back of the light, which also locks. So there's no chance of the cords coming off, going loose and ruining your shot. Now here's about the only drawback of this light, but it could be a major deal breaker for a lot of you out there. And it is the fan noise. The fan noise is quite loud on this. It's a nice pleasant sound, but it is plenty audible. And I wouldn't use it here in my tiny little studio. Let me just uh, turn it on right now and you can hear it. I'll stay quiet. Now that is on at 1% and it's always on like that. Now, so this light I think is a very good light if it's further away from the microphone because it's nice and powerful and there's a lot of applications where you would use a light like this where either you don't need audio or the audio is not close to this particular light. I measured it at about 45 decibels next to the light and make no mistake, you can definitely hear this light when it is on. If you're looking for ultimate in silence, this is not your light. Now you're looking at the light coming from the Saray C150B and uh, let's see, can you hear the fan? 
I can certainly hear the fan. This is not a studio light for me in this little space, but I will have it on in the studio and see if it makes a difference when I'm editing in post, if I can hear it or not. And because uh, a lot of times you think you hear something in your studio, but it's not picked up by the microphones because you have fancy microphones. And also you can get rid of some low rumbling in post. Now my preference would be to have a silent light, but that does come at a size expense. Check this out. This is the light that I previously had up on the stand. And this is a Godox UL150. It's actually the same power as the Surrey light, but it is much, much larger. It's also a silent light, passive cooling. It has no fan, which is why I love it for the studio, but it is not a very portable light. And you certainly don't want to hang this thing from a ceiling. But now let's talk about this innovative light stand. It's a little more expensive than regular light stands. It comes in two versions, 1.8 meters and 2.8 meters. The 2.8 one is not the one I have. I have the 1.8, but to me, that's plenty high. I am not eight feet tall. I know I look like I am, but I'm not. And so I don't need lights that high up. But you're looking for a taller light stand, you go with that one. Plus that one can support 10 kilograms. So the 28, the DK28 is its actual name, and that can support 10 kilograms. This one can support five kilograms, which is plenty for me and my light setups. But if you need a heavier duty one, go with the bigger one. The bigger one is 203 American, and the smaller one is 176. So the bigger one is also a better deal, really. It has this cool little locking knob here. You can just unlock it, you pull it out, and now your legs will go back the proper way for the stand. And then you have these cool, don't knock into my tripod there. You have these cool, you know what? I'm just going to put the legs down further. And they actually automatically lock. You hear that? Oh, nice and secure. And then you have these cool switches here that raise the column up and down. And hear this? Here, listen. Air cushioning so that your light is not going to fall down fast and smash one of your fancy lights, like maybe a Surrey C150B. Anyway, I am a huge fan of this carbon fiber light stand, and I might pick up a few of them because when I go out on location, if I'm you know interviewing the comedians, it's what I like to do. I like to interview comedians for comedy documentaries. I want nice light stands that are also quite sturdy. This one fits the bill. So anyway, thanks to Saray for innovating, making great products. Oh, wait for that anamorphic lens test. That's going to be so fantastic. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know down in the comments below if any of this stuff floats your boat and uh, whether or not the fan on the C150B is a deal breaker for you. And we'll have a nice little chat about it. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.